so welcome to Challenge the Road. 90s icons. We've got the 993 V, the Escort Cosworth. And I've brought a friend along who loves this era. He loves the 993. He had a, what do you have? He had a Polo GT40 back in the day. And I said, well, come along, drive the Escort, drive the 993. And at the end, you can tell me what you think is best. So it's going to be a pretty cool video. Now we're heading over to Buell because we're going to be doing some events there. So we're probably, I don't know, five minutes away. But the 993, if we look at that, the history of that, the most expensive one ever sold, how much do you think? Porsche made one. One. Maybe one, maybe two. But it went for... Can you believe it? $3 million at auction. So a huge amount. So that's the most expensive 993 ever sold. And then these in 1996 were 62,000 new and you could add up to 15,000 of options. So quite an expensive car. Now, the Escort Cosworth was 21,000 to 25,000. But the idea of today is that these are about the same value now. This one's about 80k and the Escort's about 80k. So it's quite an interesting sort of comparison. What would you have? Would you have the 993 or would you have the Escort Cosworth? So that's why I brought someone along because it'd be nice to have a little bit more feedback on what, what they think. Now, I've had this 993 a little while and I really like it, enjoy it going out, but there's some tiresome things on this car. The clutch, I've stalled it twice today. It's quite a heavy car. When I drove it back from Hever, both my feet went numb and I had to sort of wiggle my toes and try and bring them back. So it's not a car that you can use, I think, for hugely long journeys. I think it's just sort of point and squirt, go out on a Sunday, put it away fine. Um, you got no cup holders, no sort of creature comforts in here. So for me, I love the look of the car. I think it looks great. Does it drive as well as the Escort? And that's what we're gonna to have to see when I go out in the Escort again, but I have been using the Escort a lot, and that shows a lot about that Escort. I mean, I think I've done it four or five days in a row I went out in the Escort, because I was just enjoying it so much. Um, it is tricky to know, because there's no bad car here, but I'm really interested in Simon's feedback today. Simon's got a company called Formula to Perform, and he used to be Lewis Hamilton's strength and conditioning coach at McLaren. He works with young drivers in F2, F3, um, karting with their, their fitness. So I said, well, let's go out. We'll go to Buell, because that's where sometimes we go for a walk, have a coffee, digest it all. He's out in the Cosworth at the moment. Obviously, he used to have the GT, is it a G40 or GT for whatever it was, the Polo. So he's going to have an affiliation with Ford, and it'd be interesting, his feedback. So I'm going to head over now, and then next time you see me, I'm going to swap to the Escort. So we're just heading out of Buell. Got some events coming up here, so stay tuned for that but it is weird getting back in this escort cosworth after that porsche the porsche felt so raw so everything so focused on the driving this feels a lot more comfortable um the gear shift feels a lot further away but the escort cosworth mm, escort cosworth is just the best car i just love this car and i'm going to be really independent today no i'm not the Escort Cosworth was the car I wanted and whatever era you're in, if that's the one you wanted and you've you know, made more money now and you can do it, then do it. Because meet your heroes with this is fantastic, this car. So, what does it feel like? Well, it feels just easy compared to a 993. Very, very easy to drive. Gear change feels nice. Not that it doesn't in the 993, but the 993 just feels a lot more racy, I would say. So 
sorry Jess, I'm, I don't know where Simon is. Um, Richard said, oh, I'll take you on an easy route. This is not easy. Right, Jess, we're back in the game, I can see him. So it's gonna be really difficult to know what car's best, but the 993 does look fantastic, seeing it today on the road, which, well, because I'm always driving it, you don't really see it, it does look great in the mirrors. I'm sure Simon's having a good time, but I think it's gonna be really hard to, to see which one Simon picks, because he's gonna go in the 993 and his first impression is gonna be, wow, this is amazing, but then as you start to get through it, the offset pedals, the bits, the clutch being quite on and off, whether it's gonna intimidate him a bit, I'm not sure, that's gonna be really interesting to know. So let's drive this Escort Cosworth a little bit up here, give it another little run, and compare it with the 993. Right, so first gear, second gear, still feels a lovely speed. Obviously you haven't got that noise of a, the 993 and the Porsche air cooled, but it doesn't feel slow. Um, it'd be easy to give this a bit more noise, pops and bangs and that. I probably wouldn't do that because I'm quite happy with it as standard. But I can see why I've been driving this all the time. I just, it's just so easy this car. You think you're buying a, a rally replica and it's going to be harsh and difficult to drive, but it's just super easy, super easy. When we go through these, there's 30 mile an hour here, but there's a few little bits, bumps and that, and we see how it handles, but you just feel, I mean, these seats are fantastic. It's great seats in the 993 with the Sportsers as well, but these just, they just feel, it feels like you've just come back to your, old bed sit sofa that you know you just lounge about in it feels nice but then you've got the support if you need it you know it's just a fantastic car so different with the dials and you think these was you know 1994 that's 96 these well look like Ford dials um, but otherwise it feels a lot bigger I suppose inside spacious the 993 there's not much room I've obviously got four good seats in here. I've got a good boot, so does that come into it or is it just drivability? Um, I don't know, both sort of 80,000, what do you choose? What gets more attention? Well, I'm sorry Porsche owners, but it's the, the Cosworth. The Cosworth seems to get the attention all the time. If I stop at a garage, I'll get three or four people come over to me and talk to me about this car. So let's head on to some faster roads. Right, let's head down to some of our favorite roads. Let's get out of this 30 mile an hour. It feels smooth. I think smooth is, the, smooth is maybe the word. All right. Let's go down through here, some of our favorite roads. Suspension feels good. I mean, this is 20, 26 years old, this suspension on here. Imagine if I put new suspension. A lot of uh, work's going on down here, so we can't go too quick. Road's drying out nice. But there's something about this Cosworth that just absolutely flows. So easy with that four-wheel drive just it's just gliding across the road so anyway Simon's behind us I'm gonna go a bit further with him getting more used to this Porsche and then the next time you see me I'll be at Buell and we'll have a verdict Jesus it, it, it's, it, it's really hard to get the bike point and, you, yeah. and um yeah, it's fine, but the, the roads the roads are really awkward. Yeah. Like, then there's no, it's not open or anything. So was, you, I've done most of the videoing now, so if you follow me back, just stay with me. 
can we just go up this road so I can just floor it and then? Well, we need to turn around here. Yeah, yeah, cool. Along, and then just stay with me. You'll be fine. Can you're I right can right I swap right. over in yours? You like that one more, do you? No, no. Just this is this scares. <laughs> <laughs> Jump in that one. Alright, no, I'll just go up here. I just yeah, want go to along and turn. We go along that bit, then yeah. turn around. Okay, cool. Alright. I thought it might be tricky. <laughs> take this but it'll probably go in the video I've lost Simon I have no idea where he is I said to him, I said how are you getting on in the Porsche because you're going so slow Richard I'm so scared of this Porsche I said well look pull over go up this road just up there we just turn around and we'll swap car well he's gone off like a bat out of hell in this Porsche he's gone past where I said I've been waiting 10 minutes I don't even know where he is it's just so I've just messaged him and said, just meet, meet me at Buell. <laughs> it's crazy. Cheers. Still can't find him, can't get hold of him. Been here over half an hour now. I hope we have an ending to the video, but you'll find out soon. So we're back. You've driven both. We found you as well. Yeah, that was the me. first thing. That was the first thing. Because obviously, I said turn around. You went like a yeah. bat out of hell. No, I anyway, did. We found you. Yeah. A few yeah. hours later. Yeah. But come on, these are your sort of childhood hero cars. But I know the 993 is your favourite, as yeah. in from before. Yeah. But what's your impression now? And let's start with the Escort Cosworth because you had okay. got a lot of driving in that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I loved it. Well, the reason I drove it more is because I felt more comfortable with it. I mean, the, the Porsche, it, it wants to kill you, whereas this wants to cuddle you and let you know that you can go a little bit faster you if can you want to. You can push it comfortably. You can push it yeah. comfortably, whereas the Porsche, super aggressive, it, you know, every, the pedals are so close. It does make you feel a bit uncomfortable. A bit uncomfortable, and, and, and I'm not sure I had the right footwear yeah. for the uh, for purpose. So you know, you felt like your foot was going to slip off the clutch a little bit. Yeah. So, but the Escort Cosworth. In fact, both cars it, it reminds me of being a teenager. So okay. when I used to do a paper round, the 993 was parked outside a house that I delivered to. And I used to go past him in a little cart. I used to, I used to look at it. I go, oh god! One one day when I've done enough, uh, delivered enough papers, <laughs> <laughs> I think I used to get paid three pounds thirty for right. doing this whole round. But anyway, I saw this car and, I th and it was in red, and it was that that Porsche red, right, okay, you know, yeah. and and it just looked epic. And I thought one day I'm going to have a Porsche, and I, I know I still haven't got it, but one day I will have a Porsche. And how did this make you feel though? You, you still want that Porsche? I That's, still want that yeah. Porsche. Um, you yeah. know, this 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 was very similar to. Cars I've had in the past, like Golf yeah. GTI, yeah. 106 GTI, um, the uh, the G40. The yeah. I had a VW Polo. Polo G40, super rare car. Felt quite similar, you know, in terms of the way it picks up, the way it makes you feel. It makes you feel. Uh, it just it just makes you feel nice. Yeah, it does. It's, it makes you feel warm inside, and 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 memories of being young and, chi and, and, and being a child, you know, teenager effectively or early twenties. Whereas this. 
this literally just wants to kill you. This is the person who got expelled <laughs> from school. Yeah, expelled. So, <laughs> yeah, wants like, to just go out. Like it, it feels like you've got a ticket every day to Orton Towers, and you, yeah, you just it want, is an adrenaline buzz, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it, you know, you feel the G's in it. Well, you know, I think that's right. I think the Escort, I think, is one of the few cars that is like a rally replica on the road. Probably looks better than actually the yeah. rally car. Yes, but to drive. It's not scary. No. You, you feel very comfortable. Yep. You could, could use it every day. Yes, absolutely. The Porsche, I think if you've got a weekend car, it yes. is a weekend car because it's a little bit more complex. It takes time. Yeah, absolutely. But you feel everything yes. through the steering wheel. It's electric. Yeah, super engaging. Adrenaline shot really it gives you that feedback that's what that's what you want from a car you know you, you jump in a, a modern car you don't get that feedback everything's yeah. computerized everything everything's mapped out to 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 kind of smooth everything out all the all the blips and all the all the little bits that you don't want whereas this is super engaging you feel everything well, you all like your Alton senses Alton Towers, didn't you when i took you for a little drive yeah, it feels you, like you're you on feel a ride the vibration yeah. you, through your skin all the receptors in your body are picking up on all the vibrations you feel all the noise you, you what you see you know you kind of as you're going down the road everything's engaging you, you don't get that in modern cars and and this the, the cool thing about this is i'm friends with the the designer of the wing yeah with frank so yeah, with yeah. frank <laughs> so it makes me smile obviously but you can see why i've been driving this sort of daily the escort but the porsche i only use now and then yes because this this is very easy to use yeah absolutely. and that's why they had a lot of miles on that although this has got a lot of miles on it but since this has been tuned yes it's a bit more electric light and flywheel clutch but the clutch is still fiddly i said you'll probably stall it i, I stalled I it i stalled it once yeah, yeah it yeah, is fiddly yeah. especially when i was turning it around i stalled it and I, was, I was so i was so concerned <laughs> so similar values yep so if, if you're going to take keys now what you're going to take you can take the Porsche okay yeah it's like, it's like so, it, was, it was like meeting my hero yeah you know but sometimes when you meet your heroes it's not always a good experience <laughs> but in this case it was everything I thought it would be okay. like, I knew it would probably kill me yeah and it, and it almost did and, and for me I, I always like being on the edge a little bit <laughs> but once you it is quite a good car actually once you have more time with it and you get used to it yep. there is a lot of grip yes. and it feels good it's just it getting used to how it drives I yeah because you know. I used to be a bit of a skater obviously a big surfer and I, I like to feel on the edge but if you, if you feel uncomfortable especially on a skateboard if you if you as soon as you feel intense up and you feel yeah. nervous you'll come off that's right okay and this is exactly like that yeah. where if you relax, you feel engaged with it, you flow with it, it's, you're, you're fine. Um, so for me... So, so your weekend car as well, that would be 993. So where do you put the Cosworth for you? Where would you see that? Because they're both similar values. So yes. if you had, so obviously you've got four proper seats, you can't really do that in there. You've got a proper boot. Yes. So there's lots going for the Escort, but this yeah, is more, so this is more your adrenaline rush. Yes. And this is more, you more usable yeah you could do more things with this absolutely uh, yeah. this is your daily yeah this is your weekend car so you can jump you know, yeah you can easily comfortably use it to go shopping this is special they're both special but for different ways i mean they're almost you almost can't compare them in some ways what about but the looks though because obviously i know because it's the first time i've seen the 993 on the road yeah and it looks fantastic but the escort yes. looks fantastic as well and i feel like it does the escort's almost got more presence and when i'm at garages and that people come up to me who know yes. what an escort cosworth is but exactly. they might not know about this because most 911s do look the same well, yes you know, so but i don't get much attention in that no but i do in the escort cosworth no, and I I, the other day I had five people come up to me in the garage really? I, you know it's an escort cosworth isn't it but if you're in that yes. era you know you know don't you i think people light up and smile because it it memories are a wonderful mm. thing and i think if you see something and it it or smell something and it gives you happy memories yeah and obviously people look back at this and it gives it, i mean i mean just look at it massive spoiler cool wheels the little vents on the i mean as a, as a teenager you had this on your wall oh, that's, yeah whereas this for me it just looks beautiful i mean if you look down the side stated subtle yeah classy yeah just know, look, I mean, look at the yeah, flared know, arches yeah. on, the, on the rear just every, every it's smooth lines it's designed perfectly it's small as a sports car should be i think some of the cars now are too big and 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 too refined whereas it's just 
beautiful and, and the gearbox oh it just well, feels I think going forward obviously we're going to have the CTR Vantage for you but I wanted you to drive this first yeah. because I think that would give you an idea of why I've done that Vantage project and this yes but I think like you say I think they're both winners it's difficult to to choose one because yes. they're both different if that's your rear and that's your car you're going to go for that yep. if you're into the Porsche you want the Porsche yes that's there if too if you love Porsches I, I guess I guess we grew up similar sort of age yeah. age sort of era you know this is amazing isn't it yeah it is I guess they're different would I go for this or would I go for this obviously the Porsche I love Porsches I'll go for the Porsche if I had a choice but then it becomes really difficult uh, for different reasons well that's why they're both winners and why I've got both obviously because I, I, I can't see myself selling the Porsche no and I can't see myself selling yep. the Escort yes. and I think they're both going to go up in value and you can see why last air called that noise is probably still ringing in your head it is the Escort Cosworth I think when it first came out everyone thought it was over the top yeah and now i don't think it looks over the yeah. top which is strange because yeah, i always no, thought absolutely. it was a big car i've still got adrenaline rushing around me you probably can tell the, just from talking yeah. a bit too quickly but it's, it's been fantastic yeah, yeah what, well, what i'm really pleased to have you on and to drive your childhood cars fantastic yeah, thank so you so much we'll have some more videos soon we're going to get the ctr vantage out against the 993 so please like and subscribe to our channel we've got more coming soon